Okay, it's day 19 on our trip here to the Treasure Coast, and this is our final day here at uh, Fort Pierce. We're actually leaving out today. We're gonna be heading out to Sarasota, Florida on our way back to Texas uh, today. And we're about a two and a half hour drive to get there, and we can't check in until two o'clock. So we've got some time this morning, and I'm gonna be out here hitting this beach one more time. I'm over here at the South Causeway Park, uh, just at the uh, um, Fort Pierce Inlet and it's part of the Indian River um, area and it's a park that was just super busy the other day. And I'm sure it was busy yesterday. Saturday was a busy day at the beaches and I hit this park yesterday, about a third of it, and produced a handful of, of change and my only ring I found, it was costume jewelry, but still could have very easily been a wedding ring that somebody lost. So I'm back out here again, hitting it one more time before we head on the road. And so uh, I'll take you along. We'll see what we find today. Okay, this is officially the final day of metal detecting here at uh, Fort Pierce and uh, didn't have a bad day. Uh, most of the stuff I found was on the beach. Um, it's still a challenge for me to find things in the water, but uh, we're going to be heading to Sarasota here in just a little bit. So got to get back to the camper, get fueled up and get hooked up and get on the road. So let's take a look at my finds today. Okay, we'll kind of start with the trash first. Um, aluminum, fo aluminum and foil. Uh, here's the old can. <clears throat> Can't remember if that was in the water or not. Um, of course, notoriously finding pull tabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Here's another zipper pull. I found some of those yesterday. Some bottle caps. Just notorious for finding those. And then some stuff that's kind of cool. Found this old beer uh, Budweiser can. I mean, it's super old. It's got a pull tab on it. You just don't see those anymore. That was buried pretty deep out in the water. Might actually keep that, put on the shelf. It's just kind of different. You just don't see those anymore. Found this little guy. He was just left on the beach. Um, no metal in him, but uh, I was all alone out here and found him. Found this out in the water. It's a uh, earring, just costume jewelry, nothing of value. Another pair of sunglasses. Found a pair yesterday at another beach. Found a couple lead sinkers. The second one of these I found. I found one of these yesterday, and then I found a, more of an egg-shaped sinker here. And then money, so I've got a handful of quarters. I think I got two dollars worth, and I got forty cents in uh, in dimes, or five, six. So I got two forty-six in change today. So kind of cool. Can't complain about finding money on the beach. No valuable rings or necklaces or any kind of other jewelry today. But anyway, that doesn't stop the hunt from going on. We'll see you guys at Sarasota. Okay, we're concluding our time here at Fort Pierce. We're just about to pull out and head over to where are we going? Sarasota. Sarasota. I've said that earlier in the video, but just slipped my mind. It's about two and a half hours away. We've been here for about nine days and uh, no Spanish treasure. And this concludes my time of looking for Spanish treasure because after today, we'll be on the Gulf side instead of the Atlantic side. No treasure to be found over there unless it just happens to show up. Um, not any shipwrecks I'm aware of over there. So join us as we continue to travel. We'll be in Sarasota soon. We'll see you then. Okay, so we arrived in Sarasota. We're at the Sun and Fun RV Resort. It's a pretty uh, good little drive to get here. Nothing crazy, just pretty good driving. It's quite a different place to stay than we were at last time. A lot more, I don't know, things to do here on the property. They've even got their own golf carts you can rent. What else they got here? Swimming pools, obviously. Well, a slide, a mega slide. With, with a mega slide. Tennis courts, pickleball courts. Um, there's like two or three lakes. Okay, a couple legs, tennis uh, tennis courts, pickleball, uh, bo ball, I think is another one. Yeah. I can't think of the name of that, but anyway, we'll show you around when we get, get set up. Okay, so we're all set up, and one thing that's nice about this RV park that our others didn't have is it has a dog park for our dogs, Lucia and Bandit. And so, um, Lucia just, she goes to the rest restroom easier when she's at a dog park than on a leash. And she enjoys just being able to run around. She's a golden retriever, so she just needs somewhere to run off her energy. She loves squirrels too, and she's seen about three of them since she's been here. So she is searching the trees, running around the fence line, just smelling whatever she can. Okay, since making it here to Sarasota, we really haven't done anything. We just kind of hung around the camper, got that set up, and just kind of chilled out here at the camper. Anyway, it's about dinner time, and I'm gonna go ahead and make some skillotini. Haven't made this in years, so I'm not. Too sure if I'm remembering all the ingredients, but 
I'll let you join along as we make it. Uh, Chantel's going to be inside making garlic bread and getting the fettuccine noodles ready for the um, for the dinner. And so uh, we'll kind of flip the camera around and let you see the ingredients. We're using some sweet cherry peppers. I used about three quarters of the jar. Just kind of, kind of cut them up in here. Uh, kind of cut up some large pieces of uh, red onion and bell peppers. And then uh, we're going to use a can of Rotel. We're going to use a can of um, fired rice or fire roasted diced garlic um, tomatoes. Um, a small can of tomato um, sauce. And it's a basil, garlic, and oregano. And then we'll use uh, a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. And then um, we've got um, Italian seasoning. And I thought I had one more out here. Maybe not. Anyway, there's enough seasonings involved in all this that it'll be okay. And then I've got about a pound and a half of um, ground Italian sausage. I'm actually going to use two of those because we're going to have some leftovers. And uh, we'll get that to go together and we'll get to grilling on the Blackstone. Here we go. So we'll do an official day 19 wrap up, I guess. Um, we're just out here at the RV park right now. We really didn't go anywhere today. Once we got here, we just kind of hung out, but we're just kind of walking around. Uh, we'll do more of a bigger preview of the park because it's a huge RV resort here. Probably the biggest we've ever stayed at um, with more things to do than anyone we've ever stayed at. Sorry, my dog's behind me. She's sniffing underneath underneath the bench. So if I get dragged around, it's because she's super strong and not real great on a leash. Um, anyway, there's a little lake right over here next to me. It's called Lake Ibis. I'm not sure if it's man-made or not, or if it goes out further into the woods. But this thing is sprawling. There's stuff everywhere as far as these smaller little um, homes and things that are here on the property. So I guess there's year-round year residencies here or residents here. Um, I know a lot to do. We'll show you more later on. And uh, I guess tomorrow, hopefully we'll get an early start. I'd love to go to the beach before it gets busy, see what we can find metal detecting, and uh, also get a good spot before people get on it. There's a couple really popular beaches here in Sarasota, so uh, we'll try to hit some of those. Anyway, uh, we will catch you later, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.